Lexus drivers, Rob Beaumont, technology specialist here at Lexus of Orlando and Lexus of Winter Park. Today, we're going to be checking out the all-new, now in its 7th generation, Lexus ES350. This particular model is the F-Sport design. This car is absolutely awesome. It is unlike any ES the world has ever seen. Join me on today's drive, won't you? Come on. So today, we're driving the 2019 ES350 F-Sport. Now, I am blown away by this vehicle. I've driven a lot of these cars over the years. I've been with Lexus for a while, and every single model year they never cease to amaze me. Now, this ES, this is not like ES's before it. This is a very firm suspension riding car. It has great bolstered seats, very, very good ride quality, great stability, thanks to the active shocks. Um, it feels like a sports car. Now, which is interesting because a little bit of backstory on the ES here. The ES has been with the brand since day one, okay? It was originally launched at the, it is a 1990 model around October of 1989, which is kind of interesting because here we are in September, so it has literally been 30 years. So this is 30th year now of the ES on the road. So they've had three decades now to perfect this car. And over the years, what's kind of interesting, the second generation in 1992 was actually originally launched as a sports sedan. The ES was always dialed down to be a very soft, cushy car, very quiet, elegant, graceful and stylish, luxurious, wonderful, okay? However, this is a different kind of ES. This one here, as quiet as you can hear, doesn't make much noise, and it's still very soft to be its version. This thing gets up and goes. For example, here I am doing about 25 miles an hour, and once you jam on this thing, it kicks you back, as my cameraman here can see. <laughs> but it's fun to drive. This CES is an absolute blast to drive, very firm suspension. It takes corners very well. Hard cornering is unbelievable in this car. You've got a beautiful new navigation system. It's completely redesigned. You've got a new transmission. They wiped the book clean and started with a completely fresh slate with this ES, and I personally love it. This one has a thicker steering wheel, new shifter right here as well, and everything about this car, the fit and finish is just so well put together. And the ES has always been a powerful vehicle, and most people don't realize it. When you see an ES, you think of a nice, cushy, soft vehicle, but you don't really think of it as being really fast, but it's always been a hidden gem because the ES has always had the soul of that original sports sedan that was launched back in the early 1990s. So Lexus decided to bring back that heritage a little bit to the ES and reintroduce it today. And they've done a great job with this vehicle. It really is something else. Um, now, of course, you have all of your newer standard amenities. You've got all of these safety stuff in this. You've got blind spot monitors. The blind spot monitors, you can actually dim and adjust the lights now. You can adjust sensitivity of it. Uh, same thing with your rear cross traffic alerts. All of the safety stuff that the ES has always had has gotten better. And if you haven't driven an ES yet, it's worth the drive. Come down to the dealership, come check it out. You will be very impressed with it. Now, some other kind of cool traits about this vehicle. Um, as you see here, it has a newer design here. You have the, uh, on each side here, you've got your traction control, you've got your sport modes. And it's amazing when you put this in an Eco, it's a soft, docile, wonderful, luxurious ride. When you change to Sport S Plus, the entire dimensions of this vehicle wake up. It turns into a very different car, a completely different orientation and it goes from a soft, soothing, nice, docile car into a monster. And the transmission, and it's interesting too, the way it shifts, it's a quick upshift, and it really kicks you back in your seat, which I'm impressed with it. I mean, substantially impressed with it. For being an ES, for being a full-size car, 
it's amazing. However, this one here, the Mark Levinson sound system has had a huge upgrade. It's now it's 1800 watts. That is serious power, and it sounds like an orchestra is playing in the car with you. The analog clock and display here is really nice, and the nice curvatures and all the contours of the dashboard are really nice. Everything in this feels like it's well made. The air conditioning controls have even changed now to a toggle. It's not a simple button anymore, so you can click up and down on them, which is pretty neat. It actually borrowed the newer design center console, where it lifts up sideways, makes things a little bit more convenient in the same way as this way as well. So either or can open it up, which is pretty neat. I was saying before, the suspension in this vehicle has a major upgrade, and it very much feels extremely sporty. It feels like a sports sedan. Cornering in this vehicle is just amazing. It absolutely dives into curves like it's an animal. Very, very confident vehicle. Amazing suspension on this car. Again, another sharp turn. It's really something else. Right here, as you can see, sharp curve, no body movement whatsoever, no body roll at all. As you see here, nothing. It doesn't tilt, it doesn't move, it holds the road, it has great grip. This is a true driver's car. Now the navigation system is very nicely displayed, very clear, very easy to read, with no confusion whatsoever about it. Now, like I was saying before with the luxury feeling and everything, and of course you have your Sport S Plus mode, but if you still want that buttery soft signature ride, Next right. it's there still. Proceed about nine tenths of a mile. Navigation system and stuff, very easy to use. Here, very straightforward, and um, also, like I said, it's got the full screen. If you want your Bluetooth here, you can click that. Animations more fluid now as well. More details too, like on your instrumentation cluster, it'll actually tell you what the speed limit is, which is pretty neat. Um, this also slides over traditionally, like other F Sport models. Analog clock's really nice. I love the way that displays. It's kind of like hidden behind glass, like a translucent ultraviolet glass. Really cool. Check out some of the new aesthetic characters. The all new ES350 F Sport. Now, the ES in general has much sharper and harder lines than it did before. If you look here, it's more steeply graded and pitched. Your headlights right here has a three-beam trifecta pattern. Also, your spindle grill, if you look right here, it has a much more wide and pronounced look to it. And the vehicle in general, it looks much more aggressive on the road than it did before. If you follow me over here, you see right here, the details on this are pretty amazing. Like even in this right here, you've got a little Lexus symbol right here. And they've really gone out of their way to uh, to really make this car stand out. If you look over here again, nicely sculpted body lines. The, these are the same way right here. And actually, your turn signal is now integrated LED strips into your side mirrors. If you follow me, back here as well, nice chrome Hoffmeister kink. Um, new rim patterns as well. They're now 19 to 20 inches. Okay. Back here, tail lights, more steeply graded and have a longer pitch to it and actually wrap around a little bit deeper as well. Here, the spoiler has also changed. Instead of being flat, it more wraps around, giving it more of a sportier appearance. And also, it comes with dual exhaust ports, and also this right here. And what this does, it saves your gas mod and actually sucks the car a bit further down to the road to give you better aerodynamics. So this ES350 uh, F-Sport also has the new generation of the radar cruise control as well as lane keep assist. Now look at this, this thing just thing tracks amazingly. Uh, we don't we can, we condone anyone driving with other hands. But as you see, it's tracking laser straight. And what this is, this is one step closer to autonomous vehicles. Probably another five or 10 years down the road, vehicles will be autonomous. This one is not self-driving, no. You will hold on to it, but I mean, it has gotten vastly improved from where it was. So let's see what motivates this beautiful new 2019 Lexus ES350 S4. Check this out. Under the hood here, we have a completely redesigned 3.5 liter V6 engine. This one here has 302 horsepower, which is the previous model that had substantially less. As you see here, it's nicely presented, it's nice and shadow boxed, and it just looks pretty. It looks like a good engine. Um, one thing I'd like to point out to you, a matter of fact, the active suspension system in this vehicle comes from these right here. Now, there's electrical wires that go under this that firms up and stiffens the shocks and also lets them go and makes them softer. Well, there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed today's thrilling ride in this all-new ES F-Sport as much as I did. Please feel free to leave any comments below with any feedback or suggestions. And from all of us here at Lexus in Orlando and Lexus in Winter Park, have a great and safe weekend. I'll see you soon.